the exhibition itself, just to get down to the brass tacks of it, um, is really uh, looking at three different moments across Miro's career. Here, um, pressed up behind you, are the works from the earliest moments of his mature period, from 1917, starting in that corner, through the 20s, and in the next two rooms into uh, 1927. This is a key period for Miro where he asserts his uh, identity with, his, with the Catalan land from which he comes, particularly uh, located around the farmhouse that his parents bought in 1911 at Montreux, which is famously depicted in this painting um, uh, to our left here. Uh, and then the middle section of the exhibition uh, looks at the period between 1934 to 41. It covers uh, some of the collapse of the uh, Republican dream, particularly with the outbreak of the Civil War in the middle of 1936, uh, through to uh, as Juan mentioned, his exile in, in, in France and then the enforced return to Spain in the, uh, uh, under the impact of the German invasion of France. Bless you. Uh, and then the third part of the exhibition, uh, many of you will have seen already, deals with the later period from the 60s through to the mid-70s, in which we see Miro you know, again engaging with certain aspects of what uh, is being a politically charged um, contemporary events, particularly around the events of, of May 1968. You see that in the great painting called May 1968, but also more subliminally and more uh, subtly in a number of other works, of course, the great triptychs, which assert a sense of freedom of expression that tie in with these uh, different aspects of his work. Thank you.